Did you know that in the 19th century, there was a man who spent over 15 years of his life calculating the digits of P by hand? He managed to compute it to 707 decimal places, an incredible feat for his time. Today, we're going to learn more about this fascinating figure, William Shanks. William Shanks, born on January 25, 1812, in Northumberland, England, was an English amateur mathematician. Despite not being a professional mathematician, Shanks had a passion for numbers and dedicated much of his life to mathematical pursuits. He may have been a student of William Rutherford in the 1820s, and he even dedicated a book on P published in 1853 to Rutherford. Shanks is most famous for his calculation of P. In 1873, he spent over 15 years calculating P to 707 decimal places. His calculation was correct up to the first 527 places. This was an incredible feat for the time and remained the most accurate calculation until the advent of the digital electronic computer in the 1940s. However, in 1944, more than 70 years after Shanks published his work, it was discovered by D.F. Ferguson, using a mechanical desk calculator, that there was an error starting at the 528th digit. Despite this mistake, Shanks's dedication and effort remain impressive, especially considering he did all his calculations by hand without the aid of modern technology. Shanks's work wasn't limited to P. He also calculated the mathematical constants E and the euler mascheroni constant gamma to many decimal places. He published a table of primes up to 110,000 and found the natural logarithms of 2, 3, 5, and 10 to 137 places. His daily routine involved calculating new digits in the morning and checking his work in the afternoon. After his marriage in 1846, Shanks earned his living by owning a boarding school at houghton le spring which allowed him time to pursue his hobby of calculating mathematical constants. Shanks died in County Durham, England, in June 1882, and was buried at the local Hillside Cemetery on June 17, 1882. Thanks for watching. Please let us know in the comments what other mathematicians or math topics you'd like us to cover next. See you next time.